Carolyn. Welcome to the Keto Centric Cooks Kitchen and I'm making bolognese sauce today. I made bolognese sauce when I was in Italy and the place that I went to school at was it near Bologna. So kind of makes sense that we did the bolognese sauce. And it's what they call the Italian Trinity. They use carrots and celery and onions. And actually there's no garlic in this recipe. It's very mild and there's a secret ingredient that they put in it that makes it delicious and that's nutmeg. So I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm instead of hand chopping all of the carrots and the celery, etc., I'm going to throw it and do it in my blender. So I chopped up the carrots and you put enough water in it so that it floats. And when you grind it down, it'll be faster to cook and then it's already ground up. The whole idea about the bolognese sauce, there's carrots and celery and meat and onions, but it's, you blend it down so that it's just like a very smooth sauce and it's so tasty. So let's give it a try and I'll show you how it works. So you take it out of the blender and you pour it into a strainer, strain the water out. So once you strain the carrots, you have this grated carrot. It would be a great way to do carrots instead of grating them all, say if you were making a carrot cake, this is super easy. You just need to strain it well and then let it dry out a little bit for the recipe. But it works great and you just pop it in the sauce. So I did the carrots, very easy, and I just put it in the stock pot along with the meat so it's starting to simmer to cook. And now I'm going to do the celery in the blender. So I have the celery put it in water, fill it up so it's floating, and then put it in to the blender. Looks good. Now I have to tell you, this particular blender is amazing, and it's a super high powered, so um, I remember my nephew saying you could literally throw your phone in there and turn it into dust. You don't want to do that though. So just pour out the water. And there you have your celery already. Pop that into your stock pot to cook it down. Now, isn't that a lot faster than chopping and chopping and chopping? It's like, what, less than uh, five seconds in the blender after you chop it up a little bit? So I did all the vegetables in the blender. Obviously it has to be raw, otherwise it'll just turn to soup. I'm going to add the uh, tomato puree and then let it uh, simmer. 